been 30 years since I've uh, been back to India. I was mm -hmm. here, the last time was in 1983. People were welcoming of a foreigner that they would invite me to eat with them. They would invite me to stay with them. They didn't know who I was. It was after I had made uh, Jaws and, and, uh, and after certainly Close Encounters came out. It, it was so great that nobody knew who I was. I, I remember that as being one of the happiest moments of my life. The relative anonymity of, of just traveling through India. What do you think we should be doing for a greater exposure in, say, the United States of America? Um, uh, the oceans have narrowed and countries have come closer together and cultures aren't so different when we can all share each other's art. And, and when that starts to happen, it's really up to the host country to find ways of streaming the, 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 the art and the culture and the great ideas and the great inspiration from a country like India. So that's not really a, 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 a your responsibility, it's our neglect and our need to be more responsible to exposing Americans to more films from around the world. So right after all this, I'm going to go back with great memories, number one. And then I'm going to see what we can do proactively to inspire more of a cultural exchange and, and more of, even if it's just a one-way street of more Indian films coming to America, finding some place to show them. Maybe not movie theaters right away, but television.